Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss example for the solution of trigonometric equation by using the R expression. So express square root of 3 cos 2x minus sin 2x in the form of R cos bracket 2x plus alpha where R must be greater than 0 and 0 and alpha will be in between 0 and 2 pi. So the question asks us to express in the form of compound angle. So square root of 3 cos 2x minus sine 2x equals to r cos 2x cos alpha minus r sine 2x sine alpha. Next, I'm going to compare. By referring to square root of 3 cos 2x compare with r cos 2x cos alpha and we will have square root of 3 equals to r cos alpha. Next we have negative sine 2x equals to negative r sine 2x sine alpha. So we will have 1 equals to r sine alpha. By using the formula, r is equals to square root of a squared plus b squared. So r will be equals to square root of 3 plus 1. So r will be equals to square root of 4. r will be equals to 2. Next, Tangent alpha is equals to 1 over square root of 3. With the help of the calculator, so alpha will be equals to 30 degree, which is the basic angle. So finally, square root of 3 cos 2x minus sine 2x is equals to 2 cos bracket 2x plus 30 degree so in here they mention the alpha must be in 2 pi or radian so 2 cos bracket 2x plus pi over 6 next we have b Hence, find the value of x on the interval 0 until 2 pi, which 2 minus square root of cos 2x plus sine 2x is the minimum. Then, find the minimum and the maximum value. So, now I'm going to find the minimum and the maximum value at first. We have 2 minus square root of 3 cos 2x plus sine 2x. Then we need to relate the situation from the case A. So as we can see, square root of 3 cos 2x minus sine 2x, which is equals to 2 cos bracket 2x plus 30 or pi over 6. So we need to relate the situation. So in here, I will do some modification, which is factoring the negative one. So 2 minus bracket, we have square root of 3 cos 2x minus sine 2x. Then I try to relate the situation, become 2 cos bracket 2x plus 30 degree or pi over 6. So now we have the situation. In order to find the minimum and the maximum, first we need to start from the basic, which is cos bracket 2x plus pi over 6. So for this value, it will become it will become maximum will be 1 and minimum will be negative 1. That will be the situation.
Next, in order to reach this stage, what we have to do is to multiply with 2 or we can say the negative 2. So if you multiply, then our situation will become So what we have is, we have 2, here we will have negative 2. So as we all know, we need to write it in a proper way. So it become negative 2, negative 2, cos bracket 2x plus pi over 6 until 2. Next, what we have to do is to add on with the 2. So we need to add on with 2 so our situation will become 0 so 2 minus 2 cos bracket 2x plus pi over 6 on the right hand side will become 4 so based on this process we can determine the minimum value will be equals to 0 and the maximum value Will be equals to 4. Then look at the question. They said find the value of x for which 2 minus square root of cos 2x plus sine 2x is equals to minimum. So meaning that we are going to use 0. So given the answer for part a, square root of 3 cos 2x minus sine 2x is equal to 2 cos x bracket 2x plus 30 degree or pi over 6. Based on the question in B, the question asks us to express or find the value of x. 2 minus square root of 3 cos 2x plus sine 2x is equal to minimum. So the answer is equal to 0. So now we need to simplify the situation. So previously we already discussed. 2 minus bracket square root of 3 cos 2x minus sine 2x equals to 0. This one is equals to this one. So finally, 2 minus 2 cos bracket 2x plus 30 degree is equals to 0. So now I'm going to simplify the situation where we will have cos bracket 2x plus 30 degree is equals to 1. So now I'm going to find the value of x. So step number 1, observe the situation. So for this case, cos is positive. So it will be the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant where we have the basic angle. Now the basic angle for cos bracket 2x plus 30 degree equals to 1 is 2x plus 30 is equals to 0 degree where we have the basic angle. Step number 3 is to find the range. So given the question the range is 0 until 2 pi. So my preferences is using the degree. So we have 0 degree until 360 degree. So based on the base angle, we have 2x plus 30. So what we have to do is to convert or transform the situation to 2x plus 30 degree. So at first, what we have to do is to multiply 2. So for the left hand side, we still have 0 degree. In the middle, we will have 2x. At the end, we will have 720 degree. Next, we will have to add on 30. So for the left hand side, we will have 30 degree. In the middle, we will have 2x plus 30 degree. So finally, 720 plus 30, we will have 750 degree. So that will be the range for this case. So now step 4, rotation and the diagram. So I'm going to illustrate the situation in step 1, observe. 
which will be the first quadrant okay and also the uh, fourth quadrant so in this case refers to the basic angle the angle is zero so we need to do some modification for the step number four since it's a zero degree so the angle will be around first and the fourth quadrant so the situation will be around here zero degree okay as a basic angle next we have to illustrate the range in the diagram so the range is begins with 30 degree so where is the location of 30 degree approximately around here okay so we need to moving forward or anti-clockwise in order to reach 750 degree so let's say this is a 30 we have to move for one cycle until this part is 360 until this part is 390 because 360 plus with the 30 degree so 390 so here we will have 390 and we still have to move on until this part it will be 720 for this part so still not enough because we have to stop at 750 so we have to moving forward until this part we will have 750 so let me redo or clear up the situation So let us begin yeah so here actually is 30 degree here would be 90 degree this part would be 180 here we will have 270 here we will have 360 here we will have 390 degree here we will have 360 plus with the 90 and we will have 450 okay 360 plus with the 90 our answer is 450 so for this part 360 plus with 180 and we will have 540 next for this part 360 plus 270 we will have 630 okay so finally we add on 360 plus with 360 we have 720 for this part and then finally add on with 30 so we will have 750 so basically that is the rotation so in order to get the value or the answer our answer will be around here and this part so finally step number five step number five the solution we have 2x plus 30 is equals to first answer is 360 the second answer would be 720 so in order to find the value of x, we need to do some uh, modification and simplify. So we will have x is equals to 360 minus 30 divided by 2. And x will be equals to 165 degree. Next, we have 720 minus 30 divided by 2. And our answer will be 345 degree. 
Do remember to express your answer in the form of radian. So the answer will be 11 pi over 12. Another one will be 23 pi over 12. So here we are and thanks for watching.